हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नमस्कार वेलकम टू करियर थ्री सिक्सटी टूडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट आईसर ऑल ऑफ यू हुड हर्ड ऑफ आईसर नाउ आईसर आर दो इंस्टीट्यूशन विच आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर दो स्टूडेंट्स हु वॉन्ट टू परस्यू ए करियर पाथ इन बेसिक साइंसेस you know all the students who are taking the stem courses which is a pcm pcb and all you might want to get into the je bracket where you want to be an engineer and those kind of things or you want to be on the medical and allied sciences life sciences side but people who are really interested in basic sciences icer are the best option possible and the opportunities that icer gives you is also very very multifold let me explain to you in detail right now why should you choose icer as i said anyone who is interested in basic sciences icer is the option it focuses on research which means students are encouraged to work in labs publish papers very early in their life and some of this publishing publication of papers is with international universities because you can collaborate with international universities because icers have multiple mous with international universities all over the globe right then you actually are taught by top notch faculty which are the best in the space that you are because you are dealing with scientists and basic sciences mind you so you actually have top notch faculty and the infrastructure is very very good each of the campus that you have there are seven icer campuses around the country and each of them is a very 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 good campus and this is funded by the government of india ministry of education then you have interdisciplinary learning which means that you don't need to choose what you want to be specializing in as you move up initially in the first year you the students study in biology chemistry physics math and earth sciences and then you choose a specialization in year 2 onwards so you actually have greater space to understand what you will be interested in if you are a person first of all who is interested in basic sciences that is very important then you can choose a stream in the e second year first year you everyone learns everything and interdisciplinary is the way to go in the modern world you all know that then what are the options pathways that you have you have research internships and international opportunities because icers have multiple mous with top universities abroad including mit and you name them the best universities in the world have partnered with icer for research and publication and the career paths are again multifold you can actually do phd in global institutions you can do research roles in india in many universities you can be in teaching and academia which means you can be a professor fa a faculty in many of the universities and colleges or you can do non traditional uh, roles in industry including data sciences and those kind of things right so you actually have multiple kind of pathways that open up if you study at in basic sciences especially at icer because these are the best institutions that you have for basic sciences in the country now what are the campuses that you have for you to get into icer you need to go through an examination which is called iat iit which is called the icer aptitude test right now the icer aptitude test is the entrance examination for admission to the icers it is conducted annually to select students for the four years bs program four year btech programs and five year bs slash ms dual degree program so th these are dual degree program mind you five year program right now the number of students who appeared for the examination in 2024 is 43000 Now, if you carefully look at it, the number of students is increasing from 22,000 to 43,000. It's almost doubled in two years flat. So, the interest in ICER is becoming bigger and bigger as you move along. Now, for 43,000, how many seats are there? Also, I'll tell you so that we understand the ratio that you're dealing with, right? Now, this ICER IIT examination, I ICER aptitude test, you can get into any of the seven ICERs. You can get into IIC Bangalore, which offers this BS, MS, dual degree program and BS program also. or there is a program in iit madras which is to, in basic sciences and you can get in there also so you actually are dealing with seven institutions which recruit for basic sciences through the iit examination now what are the icers that you have where are, where are they existing at this point time you have seven icers as i told you pune berampur which is in orissa bhopal calcutta tirupati tiruvananthapuram and which is in kerala and mohali in chandigarh So you actually have seven ICERs, and if you look at them, the, one of the best campuses that you can think of in terms of infra, in terms of lab facilities, everything is going very good because the government of India is supporting these institutions because we, as a country, are, are investing in basic sciences. Now, what are the other campuses? We already told you IIC Bangalore and IIT Madras. By the way, IIC Bangalore is a legacy uh, building. You know, if you go through that, it's one of the oldest build buildings that you have in the country. About a hundred, one fifty years old, and one of the best campuses that you can work on. If you are studying at ISC Bangalore, 
your life is made because you are a part of a core a group of people who really love research and are wanting to be scientists for this country. Now, if you want to study in IIC Bangalore and IIT Madras, of course you need to apply th through the uh, I ISAT examination and then further you also need to fill out the application form for the IIC and or IIT Madras admission portal as applicable. So you apply for IIT and also you apply for IIC or IIT Madras depending on where you want to be. Now what are the important dates? The application as of now is already live. It has been live since March 10, 2025. And the closing date is April 15th. So right now it's live. Please apply if you want to apply. The correction and application is 21st to 22nd April. Hall tickets is May 15th. Exam is on 25th of May. So before 15th of April, please apply. And 25th of May is the examination. Now, what is the fee that you need to accept for IIT examination? The fee for general category is 2000 rupees. And fee for the PWD, SCST and other categories is 1000 rupees. That's the fee for the IIT examination. And once you get selected and you need to wanted to accept a seat, the fee that you pay if you're a general category student is 35,000 rupees. And for the others, for SCST, it's 70,500 rupees. So this is the application fee. And this, if you get selected in any of the ICRs or any of those institutions, the acceptance fee to block your seat is 35,000 for general category students and about 17,500 for SC and ST students. Now, what are the total seats? Remember, I told you earlier, 43,000 students took the examination, right? The total seats that you have in ICER is 2,363. So when you look at that, you actually have a competition of 1 is to 19. So for every 19 students who appear for the examination, you typically have one seat out here. Because remember, 43,000 students have taken the test. And the total number of seats through the ISAT examination, including everything, Barampur is 300 seats, uh, Bhopal is 300, Calcutta is 280, ISAT Kolkata, BSMS in Computational and DS. By the way, this is a very, very good program. This BSMS in Computational and Data Sciences is a very good program. It's also industry-led, so you also have a fantastic opportunity to work in many of the tech companies in the country. Then you have ISAR Mohali with 270 seats, ISAR Pune is 288 seats, Tirupati is 350 seats, Tiruvananthapuram is 320 seats. Then you have ISAR Bhopal, BTEC, they recently started about 140 seats. BS in Economic Sciences, ISAR Bhopal 35 seats and ISAR Tirupati is 50 seats. So you have 2,363. This obviously excludes the IIT and IIC uh, seats that you have, right? So in all, if you look at it, you will actually have a 1 is to 17 kind of a ratio through the ISAR uh, set if you want to include IIT Madras and ISC programs also. Now, you, we all know the reservation system uh, about 27% for OBC, 10% for AWS, SC 15%, ST 7.5%, PW 5% and most importantly for Kashmiri migrants and Kashmiri Pandit and Kashmiri Hindu families, we have three seats per ISA that are reserved. So if you are a Kashmiri uh, you know, migrant or Kashmiri Hindu, please use this because you can easily get into one of these campuses. Now, what do we have? The LGBT criteria. The LGBT criteria is simple. You need to be Indian national, OCI, PIO or foreign nationals. Right? You should have passed class 12 science stream only. So, you commerce and art stream student cannot appear for this examination in 23, 24, 25 and recognized by the government of India. Subject should be at least three between biology, chemistry, mathematics and physics and minimum marks you should have 60% if you are general category, 55% for the reserved category. And then foreign nationals, you actually have, you can please read this through as you move along. The class 12 marks only for combined 11th and 12th boards, better off 23, 24 is if reappearing. So if you're reappearing, there is a performance criteria that, that you have. Now, the admission through IIT, as I said, you have seven ICERs and five-year BSMS dual degree program also is there. IIC Bangalore has a four-year BS program. IIT Madras has a four-year BS program, which is Bachelor's in Science. When you say BS, it's Bachelor's in Science. And then Aisa Tirupati recently has a four-year Bachelor's in Science in Economics and Statistical Sciences. This is a very good program. Keep a watch on this because there is a lot of industry demand for this program. And then ISA Bhopal recently, four-year BS in Economics Sciences and four-year B.Tech in Engineering Sciences, which is Chemical Engineering, Data Sciences and Engineering, Electrical Engineering and Computer Sciences. Now, this is also is a very, very good program because one of them is B.Tech and the other one is a BS program. So, these are the programs that are very, very unique and innovative and you must be looking at them very closely. Right. Now, what are the BSMS courses offered by ICERS? This you should look at it because it gives you a specialization and it actually gives, gives, gives you a niche and that might work for you. For example, in ICER Bhopal, you have biological sciences, chemistry, earth and environmental sciences, mathematics and physics. 
In Aisar Pune, you have biology, chemistry, earth and climate sciences, mathematics and physics. In Aisar Mohali, again biological sciences, chemical sciences, mathematical science, physical science. So you actually have these programs very, very well. Largely to deal with biological sciences, chemical sciences, mathematics, uh, earth sciences, uh, and so on and so forth. So please look at that. And this is very important. Computational and data sciences is there in ISL, ISL Calcutta, which is new in 2025. This is very important for you. By the way, uh, you know, uh, Berampur also has this earth and environmental sciences. Look at that because it's very good for people who are very passionate about earth and environment and ecology and all, and are also a pure basic sciences student. Now, if you want to prepare for this IIT examination, which is the ISAR aptitude test, go to Career 360, search for this uh, ISAR, and you will get this uh, you know uh, ebook. We created this ebook, which has the entire syllabus for 2025. You can download that; it is free. And if you want to further use this also, there are quite a few other question papers and all that we have already covered here. Like for example, you have the ISAR 2025 question paper with answers. So you actually have not just the syllabus, but the previous year's question papers and answers so that you can actually prepare better and uh, hopefully be successful in getting in, in one of the ISARs. You actually have all these things of ISAR. Please look at them very closely and you will be able to help yourself in preparing for the examination and succeeding in the examination. So obviously, you all of you will have a question of how good are these institutions, what is the ranking and all. The government of India has one ranking called NIRF, which is called the National Institutional Ranking Framework, NIRF. Right, those people rank all the institutions in the country, and based on the ranking given by NRF, this is what we are. You know, we also have a career 360 ranking, but ISR Pune is ranked 42 overall, and its median salary at placement level is about 8.3 lakh. Right, ISR Calcutta ranked 61 overall, and the median salary is 7 lakh. ISR Mohal is ranked 64, and all India, by the way, the 64th ranking is all India overall category at the university level. And the median salary is 8.67 lakh. ISAR Bhopal is ranked 78. And the median salary is 19 lakh rupees. By the way, this is because of the data sciences program that I think that they have. Otherwise, it won't happen. Then ISAR Thiruvan program, which is ranked between 151 and 200 rank, all India. right? And the median salary is 5 lakh. ISAR Tirupati and ISAR Barampur haven't participated in the ranking. But the median salary is 5 lakh and 6.27 lakh. Now, by the way, remember this. Most of the students who join ISER typically continue their research and continue their further education. So many of them don't even prefer to get placed. So they don't even sit for placement because they're so interested in pursuing their PhD and moving ahead in terms of the research work that they do that they don't even sit for placement. But assuming you sit for placement, the placement opportunities across ISER are also very, very good because you are a basic science student and lot of companies, lot of industry, lot of academia, lot of universities, a uh, lot of research, you know, work that is happening around the globe. They want to have you publishing along with them. So it works very well for all of us, right? But the placement opportunities are there. So what is the fee that you have to pay uh, if you join any of the ISER? The fee that we're talking about here is for the full five years, 4.89 lakhs for five years at ISER Pune. For the two-year program, it's 1.98 lakh. And ISER Kolkata is 4.61 lakh for five years. For two years, 1.68. So typically, if you now go through it, for the five-year program, it's you know, uh, 4.89, 4.61, 5.29, 4.84, 4.88. So it's about 5 lakh rupees is the fee that you pay, which is a lakh of rupees a year if you're studying at any of the ISERs. And then, if, uh, and if it's a two year program, it's a little less than 2 lakh rupees, right? And the hostel fee that I'm talking about is per year, which is 53,000 and 21,000 and 87,000 and all. So typically your fee is about a lakh of rupees a year and the hostel fee is about 50,000 rupees in a year and moving up. And if you include everything, it's very, very, you know, affordable education in one of the best institutions that we have in the countries, all the seven ISRs plus ISC plus IIT uh, Chennai, where within 10 lakh rupees, you actually study for over five years and come out as one of those people who is very, very well sought after. And in basic sciences, you will be really, really excelling. And you actually have fantastic opportunities opening up for you as you move up. Now, what is the kind of cutoff that you need to have to join any of these institutions? If you're dealing with ISR Pune, for the BMS, BSMS program, you need to have a rank of 2.9 as opening rank. The closing rank is 1023. Right, the closing rank is 1023. For ISR Calcutta, 1801 is the closing rank. For ISR Mohali, 3034 is the closing rank. For ISAR Bhopal, it's 3136. For ISAR Thiruvan is 3447. Tirupati is 4325. And Berampur is 4398. So you need to be below 5000 rank from the 40,000 that you actually discussed 
to be getting into any of these ICs in the country. But if you want to be in the top two, which is the Pune and Calcutta, you need to be below 2000 rank, which is we're talking about the top 5 percentile of the students. So this is what we have. If you're a PCM student or a PCB student, are not interested in engineering, you don't want to work for the corporate jobs, you don't want to work in the industry, you're interested in basic sciences and want to research, want to study further, and you want to pursue a PhD also and be in the academia, be in the research field, be a scientist, or and so on and so forth. ICERs are the best option for you because they give you to your at, at aptitude and to your attitude what exactly you want that you can excel in the basic sciences you have a fantastic career opportunity and you're not a part of that industry and corporate world that you might want to avoid because you are really interested in research and pursuing studies on and on and on thank you so much i hope this helps you if you want us to cover anything like this please write to us in the comment section below and i'll be most happy to research on it and come back to you with another video on the subject of your choice thank you so much bye bye